Nanti kalian ingat. Ada yang Cukupan aku ni. Nah, kan Rishat. Minta aku nak. Hello. Please, can you see my screen? Hello, can you see my screen? Okay, thank you. Hello, oh, mute, 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 mute your, your microphone. And I see it. Mute your microphone. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Can anyone see my screen? Yes, you can see. You can see my screen. Okay. I don't actually know. Then I'm having network difficulties, network issues. Yes, sir. I'm having network yes. issues. Can you hear me clearly? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Okay, okay. So let's start. Yeah. machines. Okay, actually, I am Joshua Danto. I did my BSc degree from the University of Energy and Natural Resources and a Master of Electrical Engineering degree from the University of Hussein of Malaysia. I am actually the instructor for this course. So let's start. Of electrical machines, they are categorized in what? Yeah. 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 We have the DC machines. Yeah. DC machines. Yeah. Special electrical machines. Yeah. In terms of the DC machines, we are having what the motors and the DC generators. In terms of the AC machines, we have transformers, induction motors, and synchronous generators. In terms of special electrical machines, we are having several types: several motors, DC motors, and several others. But in terms of your level, we only consider what the DC machines, which are the DC motors and the DC generators. Can you hear me? Okay. So in terms of, <laughs> please mute your microphone. Mute your microphone. So in terms of electrical machines, let's consider something like this. Let's say we are actually considering what only the DC machines. Every electrical machine, especially the DC types, can operate as what a generator or a motor. What is a motor? Electrical motor. Actually, convert what electrical energy into what mechanical energy, mechanical rotational energy. Mechanical energy is what in terms of the motor, the machine is what the rotational energy. Do you get it? In terms of the generator, generators normally convert what generators normally convert the what mechanical energy into electrical energy. Generators normally convert what mechanical energy into rotational. Generators convert what mechanical energy into what electrical energy. So let's look at this diagram. This same this what let's say an electrical machine. This same machine. Let's say this is the electrical machine, and this machine can operate as what either what a motor or generator, depending on the what input the machine let's look at something when the input is from this side when the input is what electrical energy being the what the voltage represented by e and what being what the voltage the voltage represented by this e 
and the current and the output being rotation of the rotor, the rotating part, mechanical energy. Do you get it? So when the input is what? Electrical energy and the output is what? Mechanical energy. That means the machine will be operating as what? A motor. And also when the input is what? Mechanical energy. Rotation. Mechanical energy. Rotation by rotation. Do you get it? Let's say you are turning with something. Do you get it? It's mechanical energy. Mechanical energy. Energy. We are having what? Two types. We are having what? The potential energy and that of what? The kinetic energy. So we are considering what? The kinetic energy. Because at stationary, when it is stationary, when the rotating part is stationary, it possesses what? Potential energy. And when it is what? Rotating, it possesses what? Mechanical energy. Do you get it? So when the input is what? Mechanical energy. And its output is what? Electrical energy. When the input is supplied at this end. And the output is taken at this end. Which is what? Electrical energy is taken at this end. That means the machine will be operating as what? A generator. So we have two types of machines. Three types. Either transformer, but we don't consider transformers. That one is static and a rotating part. In terms of the rotating part, we have the generator and what? And the motor. Do you get it? So before you can get what? A motor. You can make a, an electrical machine to operate as a motor. That means you need what? Supply the what the motor the machine will what an electrical power source something like a blender especially the ladies who, who actually use blender or the fan the electric fan the electric fan is a motor because you supply it with what you supply the what the winding of the what the motor the fan with what an electrical power source you just plug it and you just turn it on we can add a, uh, apply the power to the regulator so you are actually feeding an electrical energy into what the, the fan, the fan, and the output is what the speed, the rotation, which is what mechanical energy. So that is a typical illustration. In terms of what the generator, that means in terms of what the electric fan, it is what a motor. It is operating as what a motor. In terms of generator, let's look at something. The normal diesel generators we normally use. A typical example of what a generator do actually what use what uh the internal combustion engine engine by combat through combustion you burn what the floor and that one will create what the mechanical power to turn the rotating part the rotor do you get it so that one will, will serve as what the mechanical energy and at the end you will get what an electrical energy at its terminal so this same principle is what is actually used in the what at the power generation stations do you get it like a cotton bow they actually provide what the mechanical input, the mechanical input, which is which actually turns the what the root the rotating part is what the what water, so they use water to serve as what the mechanical input. They get it, and the output will be what electrical energy. So machines are called AC machines if the electrical system is AC. They are also called DC machines. If the electrical system is what? DC. I believe you are all clear. Let's continue. Direct current machines. The fundamentals of what direct current machines. The purpose of this, we only consider the word the DC machine. Greater okay. action. Yeah. And EMF. EMF is the same as what? Voltage. EMF, the full name of the full name of EMF is what? Electromotive force is the same as what? Potential difference. Or voltage. And in terms of generator, an EMF is induced in a conductor. If, the, if it moves through a magnetic field, in terms of what electrical machines, if you actually familiarize yourself with what mag electricity and what magnetism, electricity and magnetism, have, I, have you actually learned applied electricity in your first year? Did you learn applied electricity? Hello, hello, can you hear me?
Hello. Sir, the network is very bad. I'm not getting. No, sir, the network is very bad. Okay. Don't I'm not worry. hearing you. I can't worry. get you. Oh. You just follow. I, I'm recording. I'll send to you. Right. In terms of generator, an EMF or voltage is induced in a conductor moves through a magnetic field. In terms of motor, a force is induced in a conductor that has a current going through it and placed in a magnetic field. You will get this concept later. Any DC machine can act either as a generator or a motor. Why is it? machine. Any electrical machine. The network is good at all. Not good at all, right? Don't worry, I'm recording. I'll send you the video, yeah. right? Just concentrate. Yes, I'm not at all. Okay. Either as what? Generator. Or as a machine. Not all machines have these features, except for what? Only DC machines. So technical application of what? DC motors. We have the what? DC shunt motors and the DC what? Series motors. Do you get it? In terms of the DC shunt motors, we have something called... No. So, Hello. So, in terms of electrical machines. Yes, sir, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Electrical machines. Let me just go back to this section and I'll bring some stuff to you. This is a typical example of what? Electrical machine or the DC machine is made up of what? the stationary part, which is the stator, the rotating part. The very poor. The network is very poor. I'm okay. Let's cancel the class today. Maybe when I come there, you actually work on it. Do you get it? We can meet face to face because I had wanted to actually record and send it to you, but whatever I've done. Right now, we just send it to you. I'm having a recording for a previous video. Previous class, you get it. I'll send that one to you and watch the video. Uh, please can't do well.